This video tutorial is all about cloning in plants. The easiest way to create clones is through making cuttings. To make a cutting, a stem is cut between two leaf joints, which are known as nodes. The cut end of the stem is then placed in moist soil. New roots will grow from the tissues in the stem, usually from the node, but they may also grow from other parts of the buried stem. Some plants, such as blackberries, will take root really easily, whereas other plants may require some further treatment. Dipping the cut stem in rooting hormone helps to stimulate root growth. This technique of making cuttings can be used to produce large numbers of plants really quickly. Cuttings can also be made successfully from other parts of the plant. For example, root cuttings in which a section of root is buried just below the soil surface and produces new shoots. Large scale cloning by taking cuttings can be time consuming and needs a lot of space. Also, some plants do not respond well to taking cuttings. Many commercially grown houseplants are cloned using tissue culture techniques instead. Tissue culture is a series of techniques used to grow cells, tissues or organs from a small sample of cells or tissue. It is carried out on a nutrient medium under sterile conditions. Application of plant growth substances at the correct time can encourage the cells in the growing tissue to differentiate. Tissue culture is widely used commercially to increase the number of new plants through a process known as micropropagation. Micropropagation involves taking a small piece of plant tissue, which is known as the explant, and using plant growth substances to encourage it to grow and develop into a whole new plant. Micropropagation involves a number of steps. Firstly, the suitable plant material needs to be selected and cut into small pieces. These are called explants. Explants could be tiny pieces of leaf, stem, root, or even bud. Merry stem tissue is often used as this is always free from viral infection. The explants are sterilized using dilute bleach or alcohol. This is essential to kill any bacteria and fungi as they would thrive in the conditions supplied to help the plant grow well. The explants are placed on a sterile growth medium, usually agar gel, containing suitable nutrients such as glucose, amino acids and phosphates. The gel also contains high concentrations of growth substances such as auxin and cytokinins. This stimulates the cells of each explant to divide by mitosis to form a callus which is a mass of undifferentiated totipotent cells. Once a callus is formed, it is divided to produce a large number of small clumps of undifferentiated cells. These small clumps of cells are stimulated to grow, divide and differentiate into different plant tissues. This is achieved by moving the cells to different growth medium. Each media contains different ratios of auxin and cytokinin. If you have a ratio, for example, of 100 auxin to one cytokinin, this will stimulate roots to form. If you have a ratio of four auxin to one cytokinin, this would stimulate shoots to form. Once the tiny plantlets have formed, they are transferred to a greenhouse to be grown in compost or soil and acclimatised to normal growing conditions. 